Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make beatboxing sounds. This will be a very basic beatboxing tutorial and I will be showing you how to make the bass drum, snare drum and hi-hat sounds. So let's get right to it. The bass drum sounds like this. The hi-hat sounds like this. And the snare drum sounds like this. When you put them together into a beat, they sound something like this. Okay, so let's get right to the tutorial. For the bass drum, you're basically going to, you're going to start by making a B sound. B, B. And then you're going to exhale um, air. You're going to force air out of the front of your mouth using the muscles at the back of your throat and the top of your neck. B, B. And then you're going to just hold your lips together so that you continue to vibrate your lips and just get that extended bass drum sound. B, B. So I'm just making the sound, the B sound, forcing air out through my lips and then I'm holding them together so that they vibrate just a bit for the extended bass drum sound. I'm just going to hold the camera further away so that the air doesn't affect the microphone. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully you can hear the sound nicely. Okay for the hi-hat sound. <clears throat> Basically, you're going to hold your your top and bottom rows of teeth close together, just like that. Put on sort of a half smile, and then you are going to push your tongue, push your tongue against the back of your teeth and then away from the back of your teeth really quickly. So, uh, sorry, I should have, I should have I re actually reversed it. Get your tongue against your, the back of your teeth, then bring it away from the back of your teeth and then towards the back of your teeth. This is what my tongue is doing. And if you just leave just enough space when you remove, when you move your tongue away from the back of your teeth, the air that is coming over and through the, the, your teeth area will create this sound. And you are going to control that air using the muscles at the back of your throat and the top of your neck. You're not using your lungs. <laughs> You're not breathing out like that. You're simply using um, the muscles towards the back of your mouth to control the amount of air that is being released. <laughs> All right, and the last one is the snare drum. Now I sort of have two versions of the snare drum. I have a low sounding version and then I have a high sounding version. So it all depends on how you want to position your mouth. For the ha for the high sounding snare drum, tss, you're basically going to almost make a ch sound, but instead of using your instead of using your vocal cords to actually pronounce the ch c h ch, you are going to just use the air and force the air out from your mouth. Once again, using the muscles at the back of your mo mouth towards the uh, top of your neck, the back of your throat. Um, you're going to use those muscles to force the air out and that will create that high sounding snare sound. And keep your lips towards your teeth. Don't extend them out because that is how you get the low sounding snare drum sound. So if you sort of put on a half smile, you can get the high sounding snare drum sound. And then if you extend your lips away from your teeth, you can get the low sounding snare drum sound. And that's basically it. The bass drum, the hi-hat, and the snare drum, or let's put it all together one more time. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to make some basic beatboxing sounds. 
I have specifically outlined the steps that are required to make the bass drum, snare drum, and hi-hat sounds. And I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.